Hi, I'm Marshy, and what I'm going to share with you today is in QuickBooks Online, talking about memorized transactions. Now, memorized transactions help save us time from doing repetitive invoicing to bills that are the same each month, such as a loan, a truck payment, um, the water bill, the rent, those things that don't change and they're repetitive. So you can uh, create reoccurring transactions. So how do we find them? Where do we go? Well, the first thing you'll do is you'll go up to the toolbar up in the far right hand corner where my mugshot is. And you'll go under list and you'll see reoccurring transactions. Now you'll see here that there are two bills already set up. We can edit those bills, okay? Um, so in the case that we want to edit the phone bill, let's say we've added somebody on to the phone, so we have an extra phone line, and that bill is now going to be $95.59. We say save template, and it's done. Okay, and you'll see there that the price has now changed. Now, if we want to set up an invoice that's reoccurring, and you could be going, well, why would I do that? Well, it depends on your business. If you have uh, a lawn care business where you go to the same place maybe monthly or every other week, or you have a swimming pool business and you go and you clean pools once a week, or, you know, let's say you're a florist and the funeral home orders flowers, you can bill them monthly. So depending on what your business is will depend on how this becomes useful to you. So the first thing we have to do is first we have to create an invoice. And how do we do that? We go over here under sales invoices and we create new invoice. That new invoice, let's say we're going to pick Amy Sanctuary because we do some lawn care or gardening for them once a week. So we say gardening once a week, we do one hour, we charge $30 and because we do that once a week we could just say four hours, okay, and go tab, or what we could do is we could say one, and then we could repeat that and go gardening, 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 okay, and we can uh, say 30, 30, 30, okay? And so for four weeks out of the month, um, 30. So we're charging them $30 per hour. So that comes out to $120, okay? So how to make it reoccurring so you don't have to do that each month is down at the very, very, very bottom, it says make reoccurring you click on that and it'll come up and it'll say reoccurring invoice. You can schedule it or you can set it up as a reminder. Now you can do it either way. We'll just say uh, reminder and how many days before the transaction date. So let's say two. That means it's going to remind me two days prior to the bill that means I can email it at that point, okay? Um, let's say they're on net 30 or net 10, however you do it, it doesn't really matter. And this is the key though, you've got to click save template. You can put in a message, message on the statement, and we're gonna say save template, okay? So now, let's say 
here are all my invoices, but I don't see it. What, where is it? Right? I don't know where it's at. I can go over here to the gear bar, go back to list reoccurring transactions, and I need I now see Amy's Bird Sanctuary is there every month like clockwork for $120. Now, let's say I need to modify that. I need to change it because um, it's now fall and I have to bag and do leaves. And I'm going to do that once a month. Okay. So I'm going to change that and I'm going to say that it took me three hours to do that. So that's going to change the invoice template for you because maybe you do that through... Uh, September, October, November. Okay, maybe you do that for three months. You don't have to to remember. It'll do it for you. And you can go in there and make those changes. The filter, it's showing all types. You can do the just scheduled and it'll pull that up or it will show you uh, the reminders. Who are your reminders? And Amy Bird Sanctuary is the reminder. And the reason I'm doing her a reminder is because her particular invoice changes throughout the year. And I need that opportunity before it's automatically sent out that I can change it. I hope that's helpful. And um, I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.